what is Epicube and today we're gonna be live right now so I have my base coming out here and we're gonna put you right here oh my god sorry about that guys but I'm gonna be playing my best coming up here I'm gonna be coming up for you a little bit more so I'm gonna be playing not real songs but that not real songs but how this nice oh, by using only five notes the E, the C, and the D, and also the F, and the F, the F, then the G, G is nothing, F, then no, F is right here at the back. I meant. Then E, then D, then C. Ready? So that's how that play. Here we go. Mm. You might hear a squeak. That means it's a trumpet duet. So just an imaginary trumpet. Um. So yeah, let's do it. by your knuckle or your palm. These ones are the keys. Then we have here some more knuckles. And the back is mostly just two keys at the back. This one and this one. So that's really it. And also, YouTube, do not copyright this because this is not a real song. So a kid prodigy. So, if you don't know, a bass clarinet actually looks like a alto, a tenor, I mean, yeah, a tenor saxophone or an alto saxophone. So, an alto saxophone is a little bit more smaller, only like half the size right here. Usually, like just like half the size. It's a tenor, I mean, the alto, it's like half the size. Tenor is like about this size, but a little bit more bigger. Then the berry, it's not that, it's not really similar because the horn, the berry's horn is a little bit more larger. So yeah, so this is what a bass clarinet looks like. You don't see it. So this is the horn. So if you don't know, a bass clarinet comes in five to four pieces. So we have the mouthpiece. Right here, mouthpiece. Then we have here the connection from the mouthpiece to the bass. Then the bass to the horn. Now, a bass clarinet actually comes with a stand if you're like doing it this way. But you could also do it as a necklace, but I'm in constant band. So we're not going to be hanging it. That we're gonna be doing it that way. So I don't have my 
stand because um it's really hard to put it's really hard to get it it's like you know too far so it's okay but make sure that the base cabinet is going on a soft carpet or even um a pillow that should be like that so if it's like tile you don't want to do that because if it's near this it's wood it'll just go like that like that and it'll just break it'll be, it'll be bent so again again have this family got people there huh there thank you so i'm using this one this pillow it's okay I know I have a stand, but you know, and also if you're sitting, if you have a stand on, you're gonna be seated. Seated. If you don't have a stand on, you're gonna have a necktie, a necktie, a necklace, some um, lanyard that connects to this thing, to the base cornet. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. Now let's play some more. That's also one of the most, um, well, that's also one of the most beautiful, um, rhythm I've ever heard. And if you don't know how to put a, um, read on, let me grab the monkey's out first. If you don't know how to put the read on, the read, gonna have the reed to play so the instruments can play using a reed your reed gonna be at least at the at least um a top on top of the mouthpiece this is what it looks like at the back this is what it looks like in front so it's supposed to have a top on here Ready? So at the reed, it's gonna be like overflowing, but not that overflowing, it's like really thin. Right there, you gotta get to it right there. So that's what it looks like. It's supposed to have that thing so that it can fit. Now, to take care of your base turnet, you have one, you gotta, so to connect them, you gotta twist. You gotta twist until you can't twist. And this is all the way in, like this one out. Then also you can you can actually secure this, but you don't want to secure it really tight. This will be harder to secure it. And two people are watching. What's up? And hey, what's up, people? James and Jordan. James and Jensen. Alrighty, what's up, people? Alrighty, so if you don't know, this is what it looks like. A base cornet. Now let's play some more. Again. That is what it looks like. So, yeah. Now, now, the, if you don't know, I go to a uh, middle school. So I have band now. That's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like. So, yeah. So tomorrow, I have my bag here. So tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, but on Tuesday, I'm gonna be at school. It's Monday, I have no school. So I'm gonna be at school on Tuesday because the show school on Monday, so yeah. So let's play some more. Oh. <laughs> Like. And guess it's Dragon Birthday song.
25 September 20th. So make sure to wish him a happy birthday down below. Okay. All right. So now let me show you in the victory what it looks like. So in here, this is what the mouthpiece with the cord looks like. Right there. So, yeah. Now, go down here and this is the base what it looks like. The base and the horn. So, after you play, you gotta clear all the spit. Because one instrument. The instrument inside gets wet. Well, not the inside, but mostly for the bass clarinet. This part, the connection for the mouthpiece to the bass, has a lot of spit. In the bass, it doesn't really have any spit because it's going the way down there. And the horn, not that much, but don't need to clean it. So that was Alrighty, so now that we're done, we're gonna be playing some more bass clarinet. So this is actually not real. The the the, the um tone or the uh, sound. So one but all of those that I played are not real songs. So yeah. Child prodigy. Alright, here we go. Some more. Mm. Hold up. There we go. by the people who made this but this is a Yamaha bass clarinet and this is one of the most best bass clarinet so yeah so let's go then and if you don't know this is what the case looks like and I'm actually I am actually recording from the uh, my phone, so let's just put that down. Okay, no, put that right there. Sorry, guys, the portrait it was, um, you know, switch back and forth, but yeah. So, this is what the inside of the case looks like. Um, so mostly, this is what it looks like. There's nothing really, it's like dark mostly because I have the instrument outside. So this is what it protects the um, mouthpiece. This is what you're supposed to put on cork so that it won't break. Then this is what the stand looks like. It looks like a mallet, but it's actually not a mallet. It is a stand. And I'm gonna take that with me. I have some reeds. So mostly I break all my reeds. Mostly my teach my band teacher said that I'm gonna break most of my reeds every single time. So yeah. And we have here a uh, cleaning kit. This is what cleaning base. This is what you're supposed to use for a cleaning thing. So. This costs $15 for this one thing. It's actually pretty useful. Even useful than the... Even useful than the, the mouthpiece to protect it. 
Because they're more useful. But she cleans the base of her neck. Well, most, well, mostly all of those helps my base of neck to eat what it likes to eat. So, you, so if you have an instrument, make sure that you need to treat your bait, your instrument, um, great, or they they will not work. So now we're gonna put this down here, and now it has five pieces. So the stand with it is now looks like that. There. Now we're gonna put some more of this type of this kind of stuff.
God, this is what it was sounded like. No. Not failure. Now, this is what it will sound like mixed up. <laughs> That's what it will sound like. Now, playing an instrument is really fun. That's why I have band. Now, let's go over what we learned. Alrighty, here we go! Alrighty, now we've learned that we've learned that taking care of your uh, base clarinet is putting it in a case and also cleaning the inside because of water spit so that it'll sound cleaner. Get it? Cleaner. Now, and also, um, we learned that the reed is supposed to be in the front. And now, we learned the five notes. The G, uh. the F, uh. the E, the D, I sing duck, D, and the C. That's what we've learned today. Now tomorrow, I'm gonna be play. I'm gonna be making another video. So that's it for today, guys. So. That's really it guys, so don't forget to remember to subscribe, like the video, turn on notifications, and don't forget to remember to be yourself. Peace.